Well, welcome back to Living Local. The Army Corps of Engineers is instrumental in making the Mississippi River passable for commercial and recreational yes. boats. And it's been doing it since the early 1800s. Wow. wow, I didn't know that. So locks in Dam 15 attracts people from around the world to watch boats move through the locks. So bald eagle watchers flock to the locks to see birds in the winter. So we got an eagle eye view of what happens at lock and dam 15. Corps of Engineers, their uh, Rock Island District is based here uh, within the clock tower building on the Rock Island Arsenal. Uh, also here we have Locks and Dam 15, uh, which we have a tow coming through right now. Uh, so that uh, sees boats coming through to get around the dam. And then we have our facility, the Mississippi River Visitor Center. Some of our uh, indoor exhibits, we have a timeline display, kind of going back uh, uh, with all the work that's been done on the Mississippi River, uh, how some of that was uh, uh, done, you know, in the 1930s and before. Uh, we also have uh, a theater, small movie theater in there. So if there are boats coming through, there's kind of a good second option to see how the whole process works. We have a small aquarium on site. And then a uh, uh, touch table, which has uh, like an animal fur, it has uh, different rocks, some sticks, it's things you would find in nature that, uh, um, you know, is there to kind of keep your attention, a train table, and then some interactive displays as well, uh, utilizing computers and TVs and things like that, where you can, uh, um, you know, see what it's like to be a lock operator here, to go through that, and also uh, kind of... Uh, hear the sights and sounds and also see the sights and sounds by kind of interacting and pressing on the TV screen. So we have uh, various displays to, to keep you occupied. And also, uh, now that I think about it, a, uh, a life jacket try-on station. Since we are near the Mississippi River, we always like to, uh, uh, you know, include water safety. So we have a life jacket try-on. If you've never put one on, we can help you with that. So. At the Mississippi River Visitor Center, we have uh, probably one of the best views of boats locking through. Uh, a lot of people don't you know, realize how the lock works or they want to know more about the Mississippi, what the Corps of Engineer does in recreation. And so we're here to kind of help and hopefully educate on all those aspects. Uh, as you get to see the lock work, you have the government bridge in the background uh, that, you know, spins on occasion if you uh, have a tall boat coming through. Just the scale of what comes through and the tonnage and everything like that, uh, that's that's a main takeaway of just the, the fascination of, you know, how navigation operates on the Mississippi River and, you know, things we've constructed, the Corps of Engineers, over the years to make it a reliable way to cruise up and down the river. We're in uh, the Clock Tower building, which is our uh, Rock Island District Headquarters. Well, it is the oldest building on the Rock Island Arsenal, so uh, we see a lot of the structure that's uh, original, so old uh, old beams, old floor, and then in this part, this is uh, we're at pretty much as the top, as high as we go in the clock room itself. So uh, we're seeing, you know, all four of the faces uh, that all keep proper time. We see the workings of the clock behind me here as well, and then we're seeing uh, uh, kind of. Uh, folks in time almost uh, with all the writing on the wall uh, a lot of these folks are either employees past employees or uh, folks that have worked on the clock itself as, as like a matter of record you'll see some of that um, so yeah lots of lots of history this clock still uh, operates much much how it originally was so weights have to be wound up once a week so on the hour uh, every hour it'll chime so this clock will um, feed into a chain that goes up to the ceiling and basically it'll strike the bell. All four of the clock faces, every time that pendulum kind of makes it swing and you hear a thump, uh, you can actually see the hand move just a little bit on all four uh, faces. Looking out the windows, I mean, you see down, you can see, you know, your car, you can see the river if a boat's coming through. So just the, just the simple fact we're in an elevated position on the arsenal, Great views of the river, uh, possibly eagles, other birds. Uh, typically, we see a lot of eagles um, on kind of the downriver side of the dam. Kind of a unique, you know, point of view from up here as well. You're you're on a military base, but uh, a lot of the island doesn't feel like you're on a military base. You have big forested areas. You have families that live on base. A lot of the base is open to the public and. Uh, uh, we would like people to see it for themselves. Visitors are encouraged to visit the Rock Island Arsenal. So to get an annual pass, you just got to visit our Visitor Welcome Center. Again, it's open seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. You just have to bring a uh, valid driver license or state ID, uh, U.S. passport or passport card. Stop down to Visitor Welcome Center, fill out a form, and then uh, take that form up to the, the window and one of the guards will get you taken care of. Um, and then they'll be allowed access to the insulation. There's a lot of recreational um, and history that's on the insulation. We have the National Cemetery 
um, that you can come honor the veterans uh, that have come and gone. Um, there is a static display of tanks and artillery uh, that is really cool to see. Uh, we have a splash pad uh, memorial park um, for the, the children. Um, and it's just 160 years that the arsenal has been involved in the Quad Cities. So it's not just an army installation, it's a community installation. Reservations are required for a tour of Lock and Dam 15 and the Clock Tower. Absolutely. And for those reservations, you need to call 309 794 5338. And for more information, again, that is 309 794 5338. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com.